So is it like the right time to like get out on Tesla? Should we think about buying more or should we like let it go up more before we get out? What is the outlook for Tesla? Hey guys, Joey here, top tier Mysel and trader in Philips Securities. And you know, this is the question I get a lot of time on Tesla. And over the past three weeks, right, we have seen Tesla kind of like bridging new high. It broke like the 900, the 1000 gave way as well. And we are currently at an all time high. So a lot of people are asking me, hey, Joey, should I get out on Tesla? Is it time to take some profit? Will it like go up some more? Or maybe, uh, you know, we should like think about buying, right? And this is the question I get a lot of time. And in this very video, I'm going to talk about Tesla. What is my thoughts on it? Where are we right now? Uh, what are the targets? Where can we actually think about getting in? Or maybe we should just sell everything and get out. Right, so if you want to find out exactly what is Tesla, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because we will also dive into the system that I have. So I have a system called One GT, uh, One Good Trend, whereby we actually had a couple of good uh, bullish entry and exit signal for Tesla as well. Right, and let's take a look at the system to see what it says in a bit. But that's after diving into the charts. Right, so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. If you're holding on to Tesla, thinking about whether to get out to buy more or not. I will share with you how to do it. So this is Tesla right here trading at about 1,114, right? So before I talk about where we are today, um, let's talk about just a few months back, you know, somewhere around like um, July, August, right? We were pretty much like consolidating, you know, but I mentioned that the uptrend uh, actually looks intact, right? When we actually broke this $700 right around here, that was when, you know, there were some signs of the uptrend starting to firm up, uh, form up quite firmly, all right, slowly pushing upwards from 700 to 800 all right and of course we kind of broke the 800 about three weeks back and there were some upside targets that were drawn as well uh, all the way to like 900 and then to 1000 and we kind of broke that 1000 as well all right so this was where we were all right pretty much around here just a few months back and for those of you who don't know all right, i actually have this uh, premium service whereby i can like share some of my top high growth uh, US stocks, right? Whereby you definitely want to hold on your portfolio to double or potentially triple your portfolio in the long term, right? And I'll kind of like share the link below. And this service is called The Monthly Age. Let me just go ahead to share with you um, this website. So this is like The Monthly Age website right here. I'll probably put the link below or you can just go and Google The Monthly Age, Joey Choi, and you will be able to find the, the link to kind of find a bit more on this premium service. And this is where I actually share uh, some of my top, you know, 10 to 5, 20 um, high growth US stocks that you definitely want to hold in your portfolio, right? To potentially double or maybe triple your portfolio. And Tesla is definitely one of those stocks in there. So I leave it to you just find a bit more if you're keen to find out what the stocks are. And not only we just talk about stocks, we talk about reasons why we like them and also how you can actually position yourself to get in on them to ride the upside. All right, so let me just dive back into Tesla, right? So this is Tesla right here. And I mentioned that, you know, in this premium service, the monthly age, we talk about Tesla many times and you know, over the past few months in June, July. All right, and there were some signs of the good uptrend actually happening when we kind of broke above that seven hundred dollars. So targets were drawn to eight hundred. We broke the eight hundred. It's been revised to nine hundred, and nine hundred dollar was key. I talked about this nine hundred dollars, which was pretty much where we were at the beginning of the year in January. All right, February we kind of like consolidated from eight hundred to nine hundred, and then after ultimately we broke the eight hundred and went all the way down, and we were actually back to these eight hundred. So being back above that 800 you know just about three weeks back when we broke up definitely that's a good sign of buyers right ready to take the upside further all right ready to take the upside further and of course i kind of like expected a bit of selling uh, right around the 900 dollars level right here because that was where we kind of see selling as well but you know we did like a day we kind of broke that level we broke the 900 because an all-time high and it really just pushed up all the way from like 900 to 1000 gateway to like one 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 four right then so that's a really good push right so so what do you do if you you are still holding on to tesla so i would say that yeah i mean we have seen quite a good heavy run all right all the way i mean you've got in like 600 700 or anywhere above 800 you are definitely sitting on profit so look when asking me you know um, you know, should we get out? Should, when, when should we actually take our profits and all that? To be honest, nobody knows how high it can go right now, right? So my immediate target would be maybe somewhere around that thousand two, 
right, to 1003. I think that is this level right here. I'm just going to draw this level right here. I think maybe 1002 to 1003 is where potentially we might actually see a bit of profit taking coming, maybe a bit of consolidation and maybe a slight pullback before kind of like you know, attempting to push higher again. So that's the range, maybe about 1002 to 1003, right? And the thing is that you know, just last week, we kind of broke this 1,100. So quite a bullish candle, I would say. Look at this, right? Quite a bullish candle. All right, kind of open somewhere at a day low. We went up all the way and we closed somewhere at a day high at about 1,114, right? 1,114. So it's like above that 1,001 level, all right? 14 points above that 1,100. So that's a good sign whereby, you know, buyers are pretty much serious to push higher because it's like attempting to find new high. You can see it was like consolidating from the 1,000 to 1,001. And last Friday, we kind of broke up the 1,001 as well, right? So it's like a new high again, right? So that's, that's a good push. As I say, we can potentially see a bit more upside all the way to 1,002 and this way, maybe to 1,000. 300 level so let's look, take a look at the system that i have to see what it says we actually had a couple of good bullish signals and let's check it out if there are any exits right so what do you want to do if you are holding on to tesla so very simple i think that i mean you can think about taking some profit if you want i mean near that thousand two thousand three because a lot of people have been asking you know and saying that oh it's too high maybe you should like sell in case you were to like retrace all the way back down and you like miss to sell at the high and all that right so it's nothing wrong to take profit you can take about thousand two uh, thousand three all right around there if you see a bit of like uh, a bearish candles coming out a bit of reversal signals back down that's where you can think about getting out as well or the next way whereby you can think about getting out would be to take steps to protect your profits especially if you have already got in i mean they got in like six seven eight hundred you are definitely making money so how can you take steps to protect your profits let me share with you this secret trick right so what you can do is this right so for example, let's say you have bought the stock like maybe um, like around here, all right? Maybe around that, um, you know, like 813 level right here on, on this day, right? When you come broke the 800, all right? So as it pushes up, what happens is you can kind of like use the previous day uh, candlestick bar, all right? Kind of, kind of like a support level, right? So for example, this is the bar right here. So you can see that as it pushes higher, this is the previous day bar. So if prices were to fall back down below the previous day bar, that's where you can think about getting out as well. As you can see, we started to push higher. We consolidated. So there's a bit of support form around that 850 level right here. So at this point in time, when it broke that 850, that's where you could think about getting out as well. But it did, right? So you kind of like consolidate. Eventually, it broke that 800. So when it pushed up above um, these like 900 all-time high, same thing, that is where you can use the day low of this bar. If you want to go below the low of this bar, like the next day, if you go below the low, that's where you can think about getting out as well. But it did not, right? It kind of like break up and went higher to this day, right? So what is the day low of this bar, which is like about 950? So if you go below 950, that is where you can think about getting out. But it did, it continued to push higher. So the day low of this bar would be about what? 1,000, right? So 1,000, if you were to go below 1,000, that's where you can get out, you can kind of like set a stop loss to get out as well, take a profit, right? But it didn't, right? You go to the next day. So what is the day low of this? So the day low of this bar would be um, 1030. So same thing, if it goes below 1030, maybe like 1025 or something, that's where you can have a stop loss just to get out as well automatically, right? But it didn't, you can see the next day started to push higher as well. And the low of this day would be 1054, right? 1054. So yeah, same thing, you can set a stop loss, maybe um, 1054, so like, you know, maybe 10. 451050 just you know, below the day low if you get back down below the low you can get out automatically to protect your profit in case you were to go all the way back down right so the next thing all right it started to push up again so what is the day low right now so the day low right now is about 1075 right so yeah in order to protect your profits i mean of course you want the stock to go as high as possible right so as it pushes upwards you raise your stop loss upwards and, and that's that's how you can kind of maximize your gains and not get out too quickly right so people they want to take profits fast right and, and for example let's say you've taken, taken your profit at like you know like 850 or 900 or 1000 and continue going up and then you just feel like you're stuck and then you start to push up and then you probably would not want to buy again because you think oh yeah shit i should have got out right but and start to continue to push up right so that's the thing about you know tesla something which is an all-time high you don't want to go out too quickly but at the same time you want to take steps to protect your profit such that 
you know, if you were to like kind of retrace back down, you can still make money, you still get out, right? So this is where we are right now. So as I say, the low, all right, on the 29th of October, which would be about 1075. So yeah, you can kind of like set a stop loss below 1075, maybe like 1070, 1065, that's fine as well. But the point here is that if were to retrace back down below the low, that could be a good opportunity to get out, right? To just get out, take some profit, maybe let it retrace back down a bit and think about getting in again, right? But if you started to push up again, maybe like, you know, the market hasn't opened yet, but you like to push up to like maybe 1130 one, or that 1002 or 1003, good thing, do the same thing, right? Do the same thing as each day passes, as each bar continue to move higher, you raise your stop loss upwards using the previous day's bar, uh, the low of the previous day's bar as a guide, right? And stop loss can be below, right? The low of the previous day candlestick bar. Make sense, guys? So that's how we do it. So that's how you kind of like not get out too early or kind of like say, I want to get out at 1,001 or 1,000, you know, but what if it just break that level and gets higher, right? So you don't get too early, but at the same time, you also want to make sure you protect your, your profits, right? So that's what you can do. Let it rise as it goes up, right? Raise the stop loss upwards using the previous day candlestick bar low as a gauge uh, to get out. And that's where, you know, you can maximize your profits, right? So that's what you can do if you are holding on to Tesla already and thinking whether to get out or not because it's like went up by more than 30 over percent in the past two to three weeks, right? So what about people who are thinking to, to get in? I mean, you have not bought, right? You wanted to bought like last month or two weeks back and you did not buy because, you know, you were, you're thinking that you would drop for you to buy, but it didn't, right? It's gonna continue to push up more, all right? And you kind of like missed it, right? And what, what do you do now, right? Do you want to wait for it to go from like 1,001, 1,114 all the way back to like 800 or maybe 700 for you to buy? I, I wouldn't know if it will go all the way back down, but what I can say right now is that um, as long as some of those key support levels are holding, we are pretty much seeing quite a good uptrend for Tesla. And it, that's where, you know, after breaking the previous high at 900, that's where the upside momentum can actually continue much faster, right? So I really don't know if you're like looking to buy, you want to buy like six or 700 again, I really don't know if it will go back all the way down for you to buy, but right now, anything about that 1000 level, which would be the near term psychological support level. I think the upside really looks intact. So if you're looking to buy, I mean, you can think about getting in, maybe just locking in some positions down here, or maybe you see if you can wait for a pullback to, to the near 1000, or right? maybe see a good, a good bullish reversal candle to kind of catch the, the upside again, right? But I think that is what you want to do if you're looking to buy, maybe try to get in um, some at some of those new support levels, higher support levels, not like six or 700, which is a little bit too low, I would say, for now, all right, unless we were to, to, to give way and you know this this like near term support. If not, that is pretty much the support for now at about one thousand dollars, and that's where the uptrend actually looks quite intact. All right, so this is Tesla right here. I'm, I'm quite bullish on this counter above that one thousand level, and we can actually continue to push higher to like thousand two, thousand three before we see a bit of consolidation. And I'm kind of like waiting for it to see uh, some good consolidation, like what we see here. I mean, we can actually see like some consolidation, but unfortunately, we broke down then in like February. But it's good that we see some consolidation here, maybe below that thousand two, thousand three for a while before attempting to push higher. I think that would be a more uh, stable, uh, more sustainable uptrend rather than just going up, you know up 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 like you know two or three weeks you know that could be quite dangerous as well so we're gonna see consolidate a while and then that could be a good opportunity to come kind of time your entry to get in again as we move higher and as new support levels are found right so let's dive into the system to see what it says on my system i have a system called one gt one good trend and as i mentioned we actually had some good uh bullish entry and exit signal let's take a look and see what it says okay so this is tesla on the one gt or right, one good trend system that i have that kind of like alerted me to counters like this and so guide us on entry and exit as well right so, so since last year you know um, we had a really good uh uptrend for tesla you can see a couple of good really good bullish entry and exit signals right at top somewhere like in august we got an entry around that of 300 you got to exit of 500 so to consolidate quite a good move here look at this right here from like about 425 to 600 another good one is where it started to consolidate as i mentioned right here in january before breaking that 800 so we've got to exit and so we started to sell down right so pretty much a good consolidation so not much of a move and in fact you know somewhere around like april may we actually saw some bearish 
uh, signal, you can see a bearish signal here, went down, another bearish signal, as it was like consolidating and the bar, uh, the trend bar kind of like turned from green to a bit of a red color. So that was around like April, May, June. It was quite boring to be honest for Tesla then. It was just like moving sideways, not much of a direction, but somewhere around July, right? Somewhere around July, you can see that this red bar, the trend bar kind of turned from red to green right here, right? So it kind of like changed from a bit of a downtrend to like an uptrend just beginning to happen. So of course it changed to a green bar right here. And this was like when um, 29th of July, we got our first uh, one GT, it's like a green arrow pointing up, a bullish signal pointing up. After like, you know, trading like sideways, that's when it got, got a bullish signal, got an exit here as it consolidated. But then we got another bullish signal, as you can see right here somewhere around like 30 August. And that was when I mentioned we broke that $700 level. When we broke the $700 level, it shows that, you know, buyers are kind of like serious to you know, gradually take it up slowly. You can see when we broke the 700, consolidated, a bit of support found then. We've got an exit, but right now this was pretty much um where the previous signal is, right? On the 24th of September, just about a month back, right? Um yeah, just a few weeks back actually, just 24th of September, you can see that this is where we broke the 800 level as well. After having this signal, we broke the 800 and pop, 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 went all the way up around. And this is pretty much where we are 1114, right? So it's, I would say, uh, probably more than like 30, 37% upside gain from the previous uh, bullish signal. And there are pretty much still no um, exits as of now, as you can see, right? There are no exits, right? So yeah, I mean, as I say, we can push up maybe like what, 1,002, 1,003, as it consolidate, we might see that like there's another, any, um, you know, exit signal that comes out, if it does, we can use that as a guide to get out, maybe lock in some profits, takes partial profit as well. That is perfectly all right. I mean, if we do see some exit signal, or you can use what I mentioned just now, right? Kind of like protect your profits, raise your stop loss as it continues to move higher, all right? Using the previous day candlestick bar, the low, all right? And, and that's how you can maximize your profits and not get out too early and cut your profits short as well, all right? So that's what you can do for us. I mean, we have a system and that's how it can uh, help us as well, all right? So yes, that's it, right? So this is Tesla right here. I hope that you know, by watching this video, you kind of have an idea of what to do with Tesla. If you're holding on to it, thinking to buy, thinking to get out, what do you want to do right now? I hope you have a clearer idea and I hope you like this video as well. And I say, guys, you want to find out a bit more on and also some of my top high growth US stocks. Uh, you can find out about this service called The Monthly Age right here. Just go to Google The Monthly Age Joey Choi, or you can just, I'll probably put the link below this video as mentioned again. That's where you can find out a bit more on what this whole service is about, what are some of the stocks, and that's where uh, we will review some of these stocks in a live call at the end of every month uh, on a weekend, right? And that's where you can join us on the live call and ask questions and take a look at some of those stocks that I mentioned, the reason why we like them, and more importantly, how you can kind of like position yourself in them. So the link is right below. Make sure you check it out. You want to find out a bit more, all right, on this premium service. And yeah, so, so this is Tesla, right? So I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you smash the subscribe button if you don't miss out on videos like this. And let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on Tesla, all right? Do you think we can push higher to like 2,000, 5,000? I have no idea, right? But let me know your thoughts on Tesla. Let me know what you think about it. And Joey here, I look forward to see you in the next video.